this is my solar powered lumber mill. I seriously used to have dreams about this. Ever since I saw the first lumber mill at someone's house, it was a gas powered one. But still, just the idea of being able to go into nature, get a log for yourself and cut it. Today I'm not doing anything particularly fancy, just cutting up a bunch of boards into railing posts. I've got six solar panels up on the roof here, and four of them connect directly to the motor to turn the motor on. And then the other two charge these four batteries here. Now these four batteries here, I'm not sure how long they could run the lumber mill. However, they're constantly being charged. So between every cut, the batteries recharge. And if I have a reasonably sunny day, the batteries are always charged and all they end up doing is making sure that I can get through one full cut without slowing down even if it gets cloudy. I gotta say, it's so cool to be able to do something like this and have zero cost. Obviously there'll be some kind of maintenance cost at some point, but uh, the fuel is the sun. All right, so whenever I wanna set up a cut here, I've, I can see where the previous cuts are on the boards below. So if I've got a flat edge on a board, I can just line it up right there and I don't have to cut that part. And over here, I've got a bunch of numbers. And I happen to be using imperial noodle units, otherwise known as inches at the moment. And I'm cutting two inch boards. So let's set it to two. Tighten my little clamp here. And when I first made this lumber mill, I put this clamp here thinking, well, I'll make some kind of integrated clamp system later. But I mean, this is so easy to use. Loosen it like that. Retighten it like that. I haven't felt like I need to change it at all. Now, I should go over a few other things this saw can do. Right now the blade is set to cut vertical. But if I grab this, lift it up, now the blade can cut horizontal. So, if I have a big log that I want to put, put down here, I can make a vertical cut, come back to a horizontal cut, and I can cut dimensional lumber without having to move the log. The motor here is an old golf cart motor. It's actually a really good motor. I think it's at 24 volts, which is what I'm running it on. It's about a horsepower and a half. And it runs directly to the blade. No gearing or anything. And this blade, I think it was like $20 or something like that. It's a 12 inch diameter blade. And originally it had 40 teeth, I think, but I cut off three teeth, left one, cut off three teeth, left one. So now it only has 10 teeth on it, which means it cuts much faster. Not quite as smooth, but the cut is still plenty smooth. So down here, I've got my left and right, and I just lock it in place with that clamp. And over here is the up and down. And it's got a cable wrapped around here that goes down and then another cable wrapped around there that goes down and those cables lift the entire saw part or lower uh, with the use of this fancy old dirt bike wheel <laughs> and it gets locked in place with a string attached to a carabiner and i just clip it on whichever spoke i need and I've got a little mark here for just at the bottom of the boards. And since the boards are a little wobbly sometimes, I cut a little bit deeper. So I let it go a little bit further down. And that guarantees a cut right through. So that gives me this direction. And that gives me up and down. And to come this way, we've got a really simple rail system, which is just two pipes laying on the ground. This one's getting mostly buried by dust, but in there and as long as these two pipes are parallel the wheels will roll on it if you look down here you can see the wheels at the bottom so each one of these posts has a wheel at the bottom to roll on this cart to roll on this track and i built this very cheap the motor there is an old golf cart motor i got really cheap from someone who was just getting rid of it a lot of the stuff came from the junkyard this uh, this wheel, motorbike wheel, is a little bent 
and it was free. And this, most of this frame, this part, like this whole part here, and on the other side, that whole part, is from the mast of a ship. And the mast, the, the ship actually came with two masts, and this is the smaller one. The bigger one is holding up the third floor of my house. And then, you know, this stuff is just stuff that I got from various places. It might have cost me, I don't know, a couple hundred dollars to build this total. Uh, the batteries I got for free recently. The most expensive thing was the solar panels, because I did buy those new about pff, 10 years ago. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and keep cutting. You know, I can't, I can't tell you how cool it is to be able to do something like this at no cost. The thing's always ready to go, it's always charged. This morning when I started cutting, I just came up, put the board there, turned the switch on, started cutting. And uh, these boards came from the jungle. And although I can cut vertical and horizontal cuts with this saw, so I could bring giant logs here and just do all the cutting right here. They're really heavy. So what I've been doing is going into the jungle with a chainsaw and say I've got, I find a log that's like this. I'll, I'll cut that into slabs. Now first I was just cutting into slabs the full thickness, but the wood always ends up splitting down the middle. So I ended up just doing a cut right down the middle, taking the two halves and then cutting those into slabs. And I'll get boards maybe, you know, around that wide and then put them here, cut them to, cut them to exact widths. So these are, these were joists in my second floor and these are the cutoffs and they're going to be the railings for the, the second floor. So no kids fall off. All right, let's do some cutting. Make sure this isn't wobbly. nothing and already it's a little cloudy but already the batteries are charging up by the time I get the saw going again the batteries will be full I can just do this all day at no cost so cool it's like a total apocalypse saw tech item I have is the rock here which stops the, the whole thing from rolling. Man the difference between this and a table saw there is just no comparison. Not to mention the view from up here. Ah look at that! <laughs> 